It's like I want to do how I'm trying. Um, secondly, it's just a lot of fun just to play with the teams that we do all the time in practice. We actually ride it every day. I've got some things to work on, but I'm pretty good. 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 I was pretty, was pretty special. I didn't even know I, I threw a touchdown until um, like after the game. But I just threw it because, you know, it was a read and I mean, it wasn't scored and I got back to something like that. It was a touchdown. It was pretty special. You seem eager. You seem this much daylight, you're going to throw the ball. I mean, it just seems like you can make it. Um, I, I would say that I think there's only one window I feel like I can throw it in there, even if it's a little tight. But I'm definitely going to look at my research, so I don't want to force anything. But I'm going to for mistakes. And, and, and during the first, I mean, ever since the Oklahoma game, and people perceived that JT had struggled in that game, there's been a lot of people who have been online wanting to see you play and, and maybe thinking about a quarterback switch the last few weeks. I know that you've seen that. You're on Twitter. You know what's up. How have you handled that talk? How has it been emotionally for you the past few weeks? And is there a party that thought, yeah, maybe I should have a shot? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, JT's a guy, and you know, just this is my mindset. If I do go in the game, I'll be ready for it. Um, whether that was myself or ready at an army and you know, so I'm just I was in my ear that you know I would get sick at the time. CJ Saunders, he's, you know, coach is like, he's got it all, he's just little. Did you want to make him bigger? Did you see him as a guy that was ever going to play? Did you notice, I mean, he's kind of made these small gains and now he's scoring touchdowns? Well, I love CJ. Ever since spring ball, he's playing corner. You know, he's been a receiver. He's my, my H in there every time he went up for practice. So, I mean, he's just a baller, man. You know, he's a little guy or <laughs> short or whatever, he just finds a way to get open. And your first touchdown pass was to him, and that was a, in a tight window and kind of a tough play to make. I mean, were you were that, you're, that's your first touchdown pass at Ohio State, man. What do you think of the way that that went and CJ making that play? Probably just repetition of practice. You know, he's on the one-on-one, so he's in the slot. We throw a lot of seam passes, so this, I had awful confidence in the throw that ball. Uh, I, I thought it was going to be another no, uh, uh, different coverage that we said we didn't want to check for it. You know, the sideline kind of took those down deep too, so we didn't check for it. But then it just wasn't probably the guy in, but it was going on. So I kind of had five seconds to play safety, so I figured out what was going on outside. Yeah. Besides, bad balls on the back. I love it. Dwayne, uh, after that Oklahoma game, when we were there for interviews one day, you you put on a little throwing display in the Woody when we were all kind of standing there and everyone was shooting you on their camera phones. Is that something you do all the time? Were you aware of the situation and that people might want to watch you throw the football on that particular in that particular week? I know, I know that people can be out of time after practice. Well, I definitely do that more than one time. Uh, last year, I made curse that all the time. And okay. I used to work on deep balls. Um, whether it was sitting throwing deep balls or me working on protection, my protection was calling out stuff on the right stage. Uh, this the time you guys in there was running outside, so yeah, they had to be you ever, you ever comfort level now? Uh, did you ever need one? So what? You used to comfort level playing. I definitely feel like I got a couple of good snaps now in my belt. Um, last week was a little weird getting it for the first time. And after I got my first series, this just gave me some good. And it's a little weird. Dwayne, what's it been like around campus on the internet just seeing what people are saying and wanting? I mean, I know that you respect and understand that JT's the guy on this team right now, like you just said, but. For the first time in your career, people are like chanting for you to be the guy now, and I just didn't know how your life changed, if you felt Sir, that out in public, uh, and how it's been like reading all that on the internet every day. I just have to feel like I have a great uh, family, and they keep me grounded. I got great teammates and coaches, so despite the outside noise, I feel like giving me classes or I walk around campus, I just want to take this good price every day with my head down, ready to go work. Has that been happening a lot, though? Yeah. People? A little bit. I have to last year. This, this last last question for Dwayne. Uh, Dwayne, you had the way that you've been playing makes it more difficult for you at all to stick with you by JT or the way you come off the bench? I, I wouldn't say it would be difficult for me. I just, I just want to go out there and play so we know that they're going to be able to come close. Whether that's me hitting the ball or whatever. Yeah, John Frank is going away for us. We've got to see that. 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 Oh, God forbid you got hurt, but I have a great car and you call my 
teenagers, whether that's with the ones, twos, or three, you see. Yeah, we all be close, so we have you know, you, you may never throw a pass like that again. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and then we put all passes to full coverage on top. We're the outside. We're not doing well. That's why I'm saying, but, you know, I don't know.